We're continuing coverage of an apartment fire in South Nashville. The heat impacting at least 60 people. They are without a home tonight. 10 others were taken to area hospitals after a massive apartment fire. It broke out this afternoon. WSMV 4's Courtney Allen spoke with one man who jumped from his balcony of his home to escape the flames. I look outside and it was dark. It was smoky dark, real dark, and there was flames. And it kicked in uh, like my building's on fire. Lazaro Gonzalez's home where he's lived for three years is gone. It's really hard. It's like I know it's material stuff, but it's like all the memories, pictures and stuff like that of my kids when they were born, you know, or when they were growing. Gonzalez and his three little girls were home Wednesday afternoon when their building at Foxcroft Apartments in South Nashville caught fire. I got my four year old in the back room with me sleep and then I got my seven year old and my nine year old. So first thing I did, I went and grabbed my four year old and threw her out the balcony and um, then I got my seven year old. While the building was engulfed in flames, Gonzalez tried to return for their four pets. By that time, I realized I had my animals there too, my dogs, my cats and guinea pig. And I tried to go by the time I tried to reach them, I couldn't breathe. I came back, I fell on my knees and I had to crawl out the balcony and just jump off myself. Gonzalez says he and his girls landed on these white containers below his unit. They are all okay, but the same can't be said for some other residents. Three were taken to the hospital and seven firefighters were hospitalized. Most of them were transported because of the extreme heat. You're spraying water on a fire, which creates steam. Steam is hot, uh, so you're already amping up how hot it is, but then you have your body temperature and you have the gear that the firefighters have to wear in order to protect themselves, and then you're adding the steam element. So these conditions, these working conditions for the firefighters are not ideal at all. Gonzalez's wife was at work during the fire, coming back home to see their unit gone. The family doesn't know where to turn next. Me as a father, uh, I don't know. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. Courtney Allen, WSMV4. Wow, our hearts are with you.